Hi there, Yorkshire Prepping here. So today I'm just going to show you on how I store fuel and the way I go and get it. So for this you're going to need two things, a 5 litre jerry can, which is just here, black one for diesel, and a 20 litre to store it in, or some other fuel container. Uh, if you are going to do it with a petrol and diesel, what I would recommend is, as you can see here, spray diesel on, because I used to store for a petrol and a diesel, but I have two diesel cars now so I only store for diesel so I've got diesel sprayed on this one so that I don't ever get them mixed up and I end up putting diesel into a fuel a petrol can or petrol into a diesel can and end up ruining the whole thing so what we'll do is we'll start with the 5 litre is I'll take this up to the fuel station I'll go fill it up with some diesel once I've done that I come back and then I'll put it into here once this is full I'll get another can and do the same and I'll keep rotation as well so I have five of these cans so I like to store 100 litres of diesel um, once I get to the end and I've got all my five cans full again what I'll do then is fill the oldest can put into my car and then I'll take this to the fuel station and then fill this up directly as well as my car so I've always got 100 litres on storage and like I say doing this method with the fuel crisis that's gone on and the fuel price has been ridiculous I didn't really get affected by it because I had spare fuel so I might go put a little bit of fuel in but because I had so much and I don't do too many miles um, I wasn't really affected over the four to five month period of this but depending on how many miles you do um, you might want to get more, you might want to get less, you might want to put 20 litres away, you might want to put 200 litres away that's entirely up to you but I find the best method to store is in this type of uh, can here uh, and I do have an adapter I don't know where it is right now I think it's over there for putting into the car I'll just show you. I have this kind of adapter that just goes on the end like so and then uh, there's a little rubber nozzle I have taken it off for now that allows me just to pour straight into my car from the can without having to siphon. If you don't have one of these, it's not the end of the world. Um, there is other methods, you can get a hose pipe and siphon. So put this higher than your tank, so you just put a t-shirt down on your bonnet, out on your boot, or your trunk, whichever way you want to refer it. Make sure it's higher than your tank, stick your hose pipe in, and then quick sucks get the pressure down and into your tank and then it will just drain off into your fuel tank. Uh, if you don't know how to siphon, maybe research a video, if you'd like, comment and I'll maybe make one on how to siphon correctly from one container to another. So let's go grab some fuel and then we'll come back and I'll show you how just to quickly transfer it into the bigger container. So we've been to the fuel station, we've got us five litres of diesel, now just going to put it in here. It's very simple, you open this one, this one comes with a screw on cap rather than a metal one. So I'm just going to open it up, just make sure when you put these on that you put them on properly or you're just going to pour fuel down yourself. Uh, when you, as you're putting it on, I'll show you now if you get it and 
push it on, it slots down first, that means it's gone in properly, then tighten it up, rather than just start tightening it up straight away, because you might not have got the seal in correctly, and then you could end up throwing fuel all over yourself or all over your table. Uh, and then straight forward really, just pick it up, start pouring. Then once you've done that, seal it up and just put it wherever you're going to be storing your fuel. One thing I will say, for demonstration purposes I've got this on the table, but when these get full they, they can be fairly heavy, so it's probably better off to do it at ground level as well. So, thanks for watching, if you like the video give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.